and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Naya anti meta game. That's right, I put together a new deck for today. Well, we're just gonna have fun with this one. We'll see how good it is. But basically, I wanted to put a bunch of hate cards for the most popular decks in the metagame together in a deck in uh, best of one is where we're going to be playing this because it's best of one day Monday. And we'll just kind of throw it out there and see how it goes. So talking about some of the decks that we have or some of the card choices that we have. So Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven, that's a big part of the metagame, right? Jun Sacrifice. So we got some hate for that. So we got two Brontodons, four Knight of Autumns. You can see we're splashing Knight of Autumn really here to be able to destroy those artifacts and enchantments the bronzodons like i said and then also to karn the great creators which that top line the activate ability of artifacts cannot be activated so that's a big way to shut down witch's oven and also to shut down them just popping food tokens also so there's our anti jun sacrifice package um also we can get to do the minus two part with karn so we can go grab like spyglass to, to again shut down like cauldron familiar uh witch's oven stuff like that uh, we can go grab a removal spell with Glass Casket because we're white. Uh, Graftigger's Cage keeps the Cauldron Familiars from entering from the graveyard. Um, there's also just an Arc Bow in here. I got just some other random stuff in here. We got a Golos to ramp and a Lantern to activate Golos. We got an Ember Cleave and a Great Henge because um, these are artifacts. Uh, a Stone Coil Serpent to do some block in. We just got, you know, we got an artifact package because it's it's best of one we don't have to have a real sideboard so we can use karns minus two to have just a, a tricked up sideboard over here all right besides besides that the other big part about this metagame these days are counter spells counter spells are kind of everywhere whether it's simic flash or is it flash or even just blue white control trying to counter everything so against all these counter spells we have three cards we got domri who can tick up and then your creature spells can't be countered this turn we have Shifting Ceratops, four Shifting Ceratops, because that just can't be countered, and it's protection from blue. And then, of course, we have Chandra's. Can't be countered either. So against all these Counterspell decks, we got uh, those those cards. So to tie it all together, we have some mana creatures to, to ramp for us. We have Questing Beast, which is just an awesome card against everything. We got Nissa that can, um, that's again, just an awesome card against everything, basically, but then can also get us a lot more mana that helps Karn the Great Creator, um, you know, and helps get some of these more expensive artifacts in play. So Nissa can help ramp us there. And then we have a little bit of removal. So we got some Tomri's Ambushes. I'm not sure how good Ambush is going to be. Hey, what's up, Yager? Thanks for that resub. Um... So I'm not sure about Ambush. The other option that I really thought about was J Justice Strike here, because this can kill, you know, like your Mayhem Devil and your Corvold, um, but then also it can kill, like, it, it's an instant, and so it can instant speed, kill, like, your Brazen Borrower and um, uh, the Brineborn Cutthroat and stuff like that, and, you know, kills basically everything. So I really thought about Justice Strike here, but decided to go Ambush. Um because Ambush is just really powerful getting that counter. Um, but that's another option there. All right. Um, <laughs> feels like longer than 35 months. That's so many months. Still, thank you so much, Yager. All right, but anyway, uh, that's Naya anti-metagame. We got our anti-cat cards in here, and then also anti-counter um, magic cards. So let's see how it, go let's see how it does. This could be a mess, or it could be great. We'll see. I can't wait till we play against the, you know, the Flash deck, and we just draw, you know, three Shifting Ceratops and just crush them. Yeah, and Justice Strike's also good against Jeskai Cavaliers, Kendra, that kind of stuff. So I could have the wrong removal spell. Hey, what's up, Frank? Thanks for the reset as well. Thank you so much there, Frank. Kendis with the hate, saying the 07 incoming. So yeah, we're playing seven games over here and ranked with it being best of one here. So you think anti-meta means beating the metagame, not using non-meta cards? Oh, oh, because oh yeah, 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 because that's what Subisek has. Yeah, 
yeah, exactly. So yeah, this yeah, anti meta does not mean that we're not playing any metagame cards. We're we're playing cards specifically designed to beat the metagame decks. And not ones you would normally just kind of throw together. Yeah, that's yep, that's also true, Pit. Is we are in the best of one metagame. There's a lot more aggro in the best of one metagame and not as it's not as clear cut as like your normal best of three metagame. That's true. But uh, yeah, we could just face red deck win seven times. But that could be that's part of the fun of it. Who knows what can happen? Anything anything can happen. I could try restarting and seeing if it's me. It looks like it's my opponent. Oh, nope, there we go. All right, so are they Witch's Oven? We got this covered. Are they Counterspell? We got this covered. All right, looks like Witch's Oven. Kinda. No, red, black aggro. Paradise Druid, why don't, you, why don't I have you one turn before? You're late. Still, if they're trying to Ember Cleave, we still have like Brontodon and Night of Autumn. We just have to survive an Ember Cleave attack. Rankle's pretty brutal. So I can have So I can have my shifting ceratops have reach to be able to block wrinkle. Alright, GG. Stormfist Crusader, good card. Crusader into Midnight Reaper into Rankle into Ember Cleave. GG. All right, a little better. We got a, a two drop this time. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like maybe we're just going to face red black aggro all day. Wasn't exactly what. <laughs> We were hoping to face. This time they added in, added in a one drop.
So the big thing is, can we get to Chandra? But I mean... Even still, the Knight of the Ebon Legion is probably going to be... Okay. Too big. Best of one can be brutal. Yeah, we could play Clarions in here. The The thing about playing Clarions is, is that obviously it makes your mana creatures a lot worse, but I definitely thought about that. Instead, like, even instead of playing the Ambushers, I thought about playing Clarions. Same deck. Three for three. We were on the play this time, but I didn't hit my third land drop, so. And it wasn't Stormfist Crusader. At least, so my opponent's killing me a little slow slower. Well, we do see a lot of counterspell decks in best of one. We played against a couple with the Golgari aggro. Maybe we'll run into one of those. Uh, maybe we'll run it against something against something besides Rakdos aggro. And the, like, it's not that Rakdos aggro is this popular normally because like we just played nine games with Golgari, and we played against zero Rakdos in those nine games. And so now our our it's just it's just kind of a coincidence that we just played against Rakdos three times here. Yeah, it is true that. Aggro is pretty non-existent in best of three. Uh -huh, look at you. So yeah, they got my six mana Chandra, but of course they can't cast it. And it's not like I really wanted to draw a six mana Chandra anyway. So I am perfectly fine with that. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. 
So they should kill Chandra here is my assumption. Use the Fable Passage and the Dreadboar Butcher. So this could be just a pretty bad trade for me. I'm killing away both my Incubation Druids and my Chandra to get rid of their battlefield. All right, let's do this thing. I'm kind of... I'm betting that my three cards in play and my Domri can beat these three cards that they got. Wanted to make a really big fireball. Yeah, so it was the safe play. And got rewarded by them only following up that turn with just a cauldron familiar. Alright, much better turn again for them. Get him, Cerebus. Coiling all my, my beasts. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I beat you. Blacklands Paragon. That card's good. Surprising, they're not killing the beast. Maybe they still are. Yep. So they can attack and make me not be able to ultimate Nissa. That's okay. Yeah, this this looks kind of weird. I have just this one land over here. They did not. That's fine. 
probably better to do this before Eternal. something happens. Get these 11 lands into play. Could have fought the one one, but it's just one if they had you know if they played like a mayhem devil or something else they would have rather fought. I am not frightened by you. I guess this is lethal. Ravnica deserves its demise. All right, we won the game. Good job, Nissa. All right, we're one and two. Let's let's face non Rakdos. You know, it could be John Sacrifice. That's fine. We got all these destroy artifacts and enchantments. Hey QQ, good evening. Fable passage. That probably means John Sacrifice. Uh, Fortunately, the third mana creature. Um, isn't. Spectacular. Elementals. Yeah, it's best of one. Yep. So playing Paradise Druid, we can kill the Leafkin Druid with Paradise Druid. But if I would have gone Incubation Druid, Incubation Druid would be better at killing Risen Reef. As far as Domri goes. No lands in hand. Mm. I'll take action. It does hurt though. Which cannot protect itself. Rise, my we were gonna we were gonna be killing their Leaf Kin Druid and then setting it up where I would have Witness the times that bind us all. Behold, nature's true power. I am fragile. Or I would have had Nissa first. This is Puzzle Pieces by Saint Motel. Fights for us. 
There you go. Okay, definitely not low. Says I switched this into a best of three deck. Because, uh, yeah, you just, you just had to play a real sideboard, switch it into best of three. Um, I'd probably get, rid of the, probably get rid of the Karns and just play a real sideboard then. But, yeah, anyway. It says you're playing against Simic Flash deck and you had two Ceratops and two Chandras. Awesome. Wild beasts will bring your command. Well, I guess I think it was going to be a 3 1 anyway. I could have just gained 4 life, I guess. Could still just trade with the forest. Yeah, my, my only hope of winning this is that they're kind of low on lands and we can ultimate Nissa somehow. The land shall conquer you. I mean, that's that's just not even going to happen, though. Uh, obviously, we, we're just not beating Hydra Crisis with mana creatures. Basic token land. Should have attacked with We won't answer the other guilds. I should have attacked with the Paradise Druid last turn. It was a 3-1 also. I should have attacked with that thing. I missed that attack and could have been pressuring Nissa with lethal there. Yeah, I mean, this this is a token, so yeah, if this land gets bounced, it would be gone. 
There's not very many cards that bounce lands, but yeah, it's a it's just a token. It's not a it's not a card. Yep, it's not a creature. Correct, it's just a land. I just have to hope my opponent does not attack all out at Nyssa. Because they do. I can't. Darn, they did. I was going to say if they do, I can't keep it alive. Well, I can't keep it. I can't let it ultimate here. Of course, I need it to ultimate. Maybe they won't figure it out with Ceratops. Go to damage, go to damage. Go to damage. Go to damage. Wow, they went to damage. They didn't give the Ceratops trample. Yeah, they did have they had a they had a green mana floating. Will help us find a way. They just wasted. Well, at least we have a chance. I mean, it's all we did was just get eleven cards out of our deck, basically, and get a lot of mana. Now this thing's indestructible. The Rolesk, the Rolesk obviously really hurts though. I think that's flying. Whenever it dies, they proliferate a bunch. That hurts. Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. They want to keep Nissa alive. They got to block both of these at least. Well, they get to get to. So now with that thing dying, they proliferate twice. Just means add two counters to Nissa. So another Nissa would be a great draw for me. Be able to get more indestructible creatures. Uh, Karn would be a good draw because I have a lot of mana to work with. Those are probably the two cards I want to draw the most. Behold, nature's true power. We just thinned the deck out of 11 lands. <laughs> We're only three cards deeper than the opponent after doing that. Uh, we have we have six mana Chandra that we could also draw. Six mana Chandra could kill Nissa. 
We're looking for a way to kill Nissa. Ugh, that Arboreal Grazer, that's really annoying. That gives him a chump blocker here. Um... So I could kill Ceratops, you know, just with Domri, or I could kill Risen Reef. I guess I have to kill Risen Reef, right? Makes it a lot easier to kill. Let's see, if I if I kill the Ceratops, they have four toughness. They block here with Risen Reef. They block. The only way to... Because, yeah, they have the quasi-duplicate for the Risen Reef. If I kill the Ceratops, though, Nissa's dead unless they chump with Risen Reef. No, that's not... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I think we're going to do that. Try to kill Nissa. There'll be nothing but dust when I'm done. Cause I know, cause I know that Ceratops can have trample. Okay, so that was the only way for them to keep Nissa alive. Well, I'm glad there isn't Reese out of here. I would have just drawn him two cards. Assuming that they quasi duplicate as well. They may not quasi duplicate here. Yeah, this is a good match. This is a good match. What lands do I still have in my deck? Hopefully none that I draw. I have one Temple of Triumph. The Plains is gone. So one Mountain, one Temple of Triumph. Rise, my elemental friend. And three Foundry and four Fabled Passage. So I still have nine lands left in the deck. And I have five mana creatures. So I have 14 bad draws. But let's draw... Let's draw Nyssa. Darn. Yeah, that was my bad for going and looking at what lands I had left. That's why we drew one. So there's nine lands left. Now. Smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Yeah, that was the worst land now. Yep. 
Because now our our four Fable Passage can't go grab it. Yeah, if we were going to at least draw a land, at least a Fable Passage. To go get the mountain. Yeah, these sleeves are at level 100 of the Mastery Pass. We just got there yesterday. Um, the Mastery Pass finishes up. What are they doing? Do they know what Risen Reef is? Mastery Pass ends at the... like It, it just goes from set to set, so whenever Theros is released... Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? Another one of our bad draws. Yeah, I could definitely see that. They have mass manipulation. They need more blue mana. But still, just copying Risen Reef digs you two cards deeper. But it does kind of seem like that, doesn't it? Mass manipulation. They need the fourth blue. Looks like here it is. They're going to take the forest and the Domri. I, could, I guess I could have just Domri minus and just fought one of these blue sources. They, of course, drew another one, but that would have just got rid of... The Domri, so they couldn't take it. I guess I should have tapped that thing, too. Yeah, I, should, I guess I should have just gotten rid of the Domri. Yeah, I, I was just talking, and I didn't tap my land. I should have. Well, all their creatures are elementals. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flames. My creature's not an elemental. All of theirs are. Yeah, that that manipulation, that was definitely worst case scenario for me. I wish I would have just thrown away my Domri and just killed one of their lands. But of course, they could have just held the manipulation, then I draw Chandra here, and then they take Chandra. So I don't know, that was manipulation is just a really difficult card to beat. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Still need Karn or Nissa. Cards I really need to draw. Well, okay, so yeah, the minus three deals three damage to each non elemental creature. Elemental, elemental, elemental. The other one's an elemental. Minus three would kill my Paradise Druid and would no do nothing to them. Unfortunately, all their. Cards or elementals. Yep, yep, Nissa lands are elementals also. So. Oh, 
we had no business being in that game at all, but we were in there for a while until that mass manipulation. <clears throat> there you go, you, you ran into Mono Blue and you drew, with this deck you drew Ceratops. Nice. Yeah, yeah, if we would have drawn if we would have drawn one other Nissa after we ultimated, if we would have drawn a Nissa, we would have been just fine. Like we they weren't gonna be able to Yeah, basically that was that was it. We had all those draws after ultimating just to draw a Nissa. You know, we had like six or seven or eight draws, something like that. We didn't get there. It honestly just kind of seems like we have too many mana creatures, or like that I should have something else. Like these mana creatures just have been, have they've looked really bad. We haven't like ramped into anything. Um, they're just dying, like they're not, you know, it's just the zero twos aren't, aren't doing anything. Feels like I should be playing something else instead of these mana creatures. They're not, they're not impactful. To be fair, we all we've played against is like aggro though, besides the last round, we've just played against so much aggro. Which happens the best of one. What can we play instead of Incubation Druid? What if we just keep Paradise Druid? Tithe Taker? Play Tithe Taker. Tithe Taker is good against the Flash decks too, making their stuff cost more. But even against the Simic deck, all I did with the, with the all I did with the O2s was just chump with them. If they were tithe takers. It would have been a lot better. Yeah, mono red on the play. Got us. Exactly sure what we're gonna do with this Chandra. I'm just gonna kill like the 5-5 or what? Okay. 
Oh, we don't have to worry about that right now. I guess this is a bad play against Questing Beast. I hope they don't have Questing Beast. Yeah, that's. I think that's the plan is get Glass Casket. Could grab uh, Golos and just have a 3-5 the ramps. I guess against Questing Beast... They just kill my Karn. That my other option was just I could have just played a four three Knight of Autumn to be able to block a, a beast. No. Ugh. Just don't have questing beast. <laughs> uh, this has been a league of. Fortunate things. Why why do you have to have that card? You're welcome, James. Just some loaded aggro hands. Just kind of on tilt there, quitting. All right, looks like we have to play this deck in best of three, not best of one. Because this is just... We're just getting destroyed by aggro every single round. <laughs> All right, well, the... Finally, we would have would have liked to have a mana creature to, to ramp into stuff, finally. And then, so now we have the tight Taker that I wanted to try out instead. Still a Paradise Druid. Hopefully we draw a third land. Nope.
Blech. Okay. So got punished for, for putting it into Tight Taker. Yeah, so we need to we need to try yeah, I mean that's our seven games there. Uh, I'll just switch it back to the Druid. So yeah, we need to play the second best of three. I did I did it admittedly, I you know made that that error of building it for the best of three metagame and not for the best of one metagame. And all like best of one is just just a whole lot of aggro. So when you're playing best of one you want like anti uh, aggro stuff and that's not really what we had here we had anti counter magic even though i mean there is usually a lot of counter spell decks in best of one we just, we played against zero though unfortunately um made a i don't know yeah so going in best of three i think i, I wouldn't play karn and i'd play a real play a real sideboard and then I'll just use those two slots for some more interaction, you know, like maybe a fourth Nissa, maybe a fourth Domri's ambush, or just some more card advantage. Like we didn't, we don't have very much card advantage in this deck uh, at all, and so that's what like the Karn is is kind of there to kind of give us some some card advantage um, here for best of one. But in best of three, I would want like a, a real sideboard, and so Karn. Uh, Karn would go, and yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it could go Charming Prince in, in this Incubation Druid slot also, and go more creatures like that. Um, this deck could be Abzan too. There's a lot better stuff in Abzan. Like Abzan, you get, you know, like Midnight Reaper, you get a lot better anti um, Cauldron Familiar stuff in Abzan with, you know, Mortify and Vraska Golgari Queen and Casualties of War and stuff like that. The thing the thing about Abzan is it doesn't have Chandra and you only have like Shifting Ceratops for the Counterspell decks. And so I wanted to have more against the Counterspell decks. So I was expecting more Counterspell decks in Best of One. And so that gave us Domri and Chandra. But... <clears throat> um, so why not Teamer? Because I don't. Teamer doesn't have tools to to beat John Sacrifice. So like, like that's that's like basically the whole thing about the deck is I wanted to be I wanted to beat John Sacrifice and Counterspell decks. We didn't face any John Sacrifice or Counterspell decks. <laughs> we faced zero of either of those. Um, but I guess those I guess maybe those are just more in a best of three. Anyway, there we go. That's uh. Uh, Naya anti metagame. Yeah, uh, a couple of people wanted to see this deck again, though, in best of three. And uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't basically. I, so I made the that was like the that was what I was trying to do was fight Jun Sacrifice and counter spell decks. But the problem is, I play, you know, today's Monday, it's best of one day. And so playing a best of one, all we do is face aggro decks. It was just all aggro. And our deck couldn't handle the aggro decks. I was I was thinking that maybe we would be able to with having Questing Beast and Ceratops, but no, that was not enough. And our aggro opponents had awesome hands. They were on the play. Uh, you know, like we had four games against red where they're on, I guess three, four games against red, but three games against the red decks where they were on the play um, with, uh, with awesome two drops, whether it was Steamkin or um, Stormfist Crusader. And, you know, I didn't have Dombra's Ambush. And so those two drops just took over. And so that's just happening a lot. All right, anyway, so there's Naya anti-metagame. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you still enjoyed the deck. Hope you enjoyed the uh, thought behind the deck and hope, hope you liked it. And, uh, you know, feel free to leave the comments. Let me know what you think of something, uh, something to completely attack uh, Jund Sacrifice and Counterspell decks put it together um but yeah i need to try it in at best of three next time uh anyway uh, thank you so much for watching some naya anti-metagame though and i'll see you for the next video